Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. We're gonna do what sold in January, and it wasn't much. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Yeah, I didn't make rent. That's a tough moment. I mean, I knew January was rough. Like, there weren't a lot of people coming in. And I knew that, uh, ultimately, you know, there was a good chance I wasn't making rent. So I kind of went in, like, to my last day knowing. But I got a couple texts on the last day saying, you sold this, you sold that. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I'll pull it out. I did not pull it out. By about 60 bucks, I didn't pull it out. So, um, yeah, strikingly bad. Mm, magnets sold on Sunday, so they got a 10% discount. Because you can't pay a full $5 for a magnet. You gotta pay $4.50. The spider's web magnet. So did a week's work, worth of cardio because I walked into a spider's web. Good news for me is that I doubled plus added a dollar knowing that there was going to be a discount and a lot of people would buy it. So I still made enough to double my money on these. I'm sometimes smarter than I look and smarter than I am. Uh, first aid tin. So that was an old vintage tin. Oh, by the way, yeah, 10% off, 450. First aid tin, and um, that's an old tin that... I picked up, I don't even remember where. I took it to Junk Bananas and it didn't sell. It's eight bucks. And it's old. Six blue eggs. I found those in a box at the last second, just plunked them down, and they sold a bag of six blue eggs, $4. Uh, groceries magnet, $5. Sold a lot of magnets. You're going to see magnets a lot. So that's the one that said something like, Don't you hate when you buy groceries and get you know, too tired to cook when you get home or something like that? Oh, somebody bought one of my heart pillows for $6. Thank you. Thank you to whoever bought the heart pillow. Um, two more magnets. Uh, stop reading magnet and more wine magnets. So the one said something like, people say I should stop reading and then I laugh and turn a page. And then the more wine is half full or half empty. Either way, there's room for more wine. I remember that one. Uh, book Quarry Girl, $6. And a vintage masher, $8. I knew those sold. And then the cute little owl that I bought, he was actually damaged. So I'm kind of surprised that he sold. Uh, and that's it. That's that. That's the, that's everything that was paid in cash. Now, these are all the credit card ones, so I get extra fees on those. They're deductible in the end, but still on a month when you don't make rent, that fee kind of adds up. And you're like, ah. Vintage Photograph was $3, $2.70, because they got it on the last day. Oh, the frame birth certificate sold on the last day, too. So it was $19, and I sold it for $17. I'm really not happy that it sold on the last day because that was a really great antique um, birth certificate that was all. Remember that in the pink frame? So cute. Honestly, I thought that was going to be there a lot longer. I thought that was going to be in the shop for a couple months. I did not think it would sell this go around, but here we are. Mercury glass candle holder. Thank God. Oh my God. This thing had been in my inventory the day one. <laughs> I swear, this used to be in my house. So I know it was one of the first pieces that when I ran out of stock, I went, grab some crap off the counter and throw it in a box. We're going to sell it. Um, on the last day for $5.40. <laughs> it really was from my own stuff. <laughs> And then it had just been in my inventory since then. Uh, faux mercury glass vase. $4.50. I don't even remember that. I don't even remember that vase. 
And my brain hurts right now. I can't. I can't right now. Vintage Craftsman Toolbox. They got the discount on it. It was $29. They got it for $26.10. That went to Junk Bonanza. It's been kicking around for a while. I think I paid 5 bucks for it at that sale in St. Cloud. Remember the one where we didn't make any sales? I made rent on that one either. At least I made part of my money back for this sale. On the St. Cloud deal, I did not make anything. I lost money on that deal. Blue melamine divided di Oh, my divided dish sold. $6. Should have really put the price up on that one. I was using it for display. So I wrote that uh, post that went up last Saturday about smalls and how to display them. And, and one of the ideas was to put it in a bowl. And I said, the biggest problem is then what do you do if the bowl sells? Well, here we are. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a shirt. I've noticed that lately that's like all I'm saying is, and yet here we are. Here we are. You know, I'm like, okay. So uh, I'm going to have to get a shirt. And here we are. Oh, uh, one of the garden gnomes sold. The pink garden gnomes sold for $5.40. Limited edition magnet and weird mom magnet both sold. Uh, $10. So those sold full price. I wasn't there when they sold, so that's cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not strange. I'm limited edition and then weird mom's build character. Yep. Another day pass with no algebra. That sold, and um, a banana is 105 calories, and <laughs> vodka is only like 50, so you're all good to go there. Libby Gold Leaf Shot Glasses and Libby Glasses, uh, $31 there. Oh, one of the religious figures sold, so Our Lady of Humility. I needed that today. I'll tell you about that. I'm going to finish this so that the people that want to clock off can. And then the rest of you that know me can just hang out and commiserate. Because there's some stuff going on. Um, the Ballerina Mist Plates. I did know those sold. Small Milk Bottle. $3. Oh my god, that's been in there forever too. And here we are. Mom's Laundry. What? That sign? Has been around forever. I finally dropped the price to five bucks. And here we are. Five bucks. Uh, Luke book. Oh, the Luke, I am your father book. I, that was one of my books that I read and had in here forever. Told you it was book season. It's book season. Jesus magnet and Jesus magnet. Four dollars each. That's the Jesus peeking around the corner. It says I saw that. Sold two of them. Another heart pillow. People are buying my handcrafted creations. Uh, unicorn magnet. It's be yourself unless you can be a unicorn and then be a unicorn. The cup of care magnet. This is my cup of care. Oh, look, it's empty. <laughs> $5. Leaf dish. $6 sale. Grace print. $36. If that hadn't sold, we'd be even more hurting. Another Jesus magnet, four bucks. Um, and then a mug for four dollars. So I mean, it is what it is. January is just brutal, but I can't say that it feels good. And then I've got some other stuff, wacky stuff going on. I was gonna say that, you know, I'm happy that Etsy picked up. Well, here we are. So I had this weird thing happen this weekend. I had two Etsy orders come in and I'm like, cool, I got to get those shipped out on Sunday. And then um, like one of the orders, the tracking number when I pulled it into pirate ship didn't apply. And I'm going, what's going on? What's going on? Why didn't this apply? And I, I manually put in the, the tracking address. Y'all, what happened was I evidently made a sale on eBay. Did not get notified by eBay that I made a sale. No, like, pop-up on my app. 
nothing. No, no notification. That's the address that it pulled in was the eBay address. So I mailed a soup terrine to somebody who ordered a Renaissance Festival mug. And he says to me, I got the wrong order. I want you to ship me what I ordered instead. And I'm like, you didn't order anything from me at all, crazy person. <laughs> What's wrong with this person trying to scam me on eBay? So I call eBay because they, they have now locked, like, all my funds are being held. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on at eBay now? I didn't even sell anything to this guy. And I said, the last mug that I sold was canceled. And that was in December. And I'm like, this person's trying to scam me. <laughs> and the guy from eBay is like, oh my gosh. Thank you for being with us for 21 years. I'm like, you said to make me feel old on top of everything. <laughs> I have one of the first ever Amazon accounts too, by the way. And if I ever like get in touch with Amazon customer service, they're like, wow, uh, thank you. <laughs> and Audible. Dude, I call Audible and he's like, I don't even know how you have that as a username. <laughs> It's not attached to an email address. That's how old my account is. <laughs> He's like, you've been with us like a long time. I said, yeah, I was one of your first customers. I was one of the first Amazon customers too. Here we are. <laughs> the eBay guy has to make me feel old. And then he goes, well, it looks like actually this order was placed on the 20th. And I went, What? No, I didn't get an order from eBay. I mean, I'm like freaking out. And I said, I'm horribly embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I literally just like told this guy he was a criminal. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Like this is a customer. I just basically said, stop trying to scam me, you crazy person, you know. And as professional. <laughs> but still. I had to, I had to then, thankfully for me, he put his phone number on the shipping label. I called him and he answered the phone. And I said to him, I am so embarrassed. I, I clearly am the stupidest person you've ever spoken to in your life. So he's laughing at this point because I'm like, basically like, I am here to <laughs> just Leave myself bare. I'm so sorry, dude. I am the stupidest person on this planet. And I said, I did not receive notification. I tried to explain him, but it just, it sounds crazy when you say it out loud. And I said to him, here's what's going to happen. I am going to mail you this chalice for free. I'm refunding your money. And uh, I did send you a return label if you could return. Because there's a lady in Massachusetts waiting for her terrine that went to Minneapolis. I'm like, oh, my God, no. And I think the whole MNMA really blew my mind because if it had, like, if it had been Tennessee as the address and I would have pulled up MN, I would have gone, wait, isn't this going to Tennessee? But. On the label, it said MN, and I don't know why my my brain was like, yep, Massachusetts. Of course I live in MN. I don't know. I don't know. I can make excuses all day long. We ain't going to help. The thing is, the terrain's in Minneapolis. It needs to be in Massachusetts. This man's waiting on a chalice. I just called him a criminal. <laughs> can't make that up. I can't make it up. And there was another Etsy order that I'm not even sure she's going to get the right thing. I have no idea what she's going to get now. Now she has, there's only one thing left out in the wild. It's got to be going to the right place. So if you're watching this and you're from Massachusetts and you've recently ordered a vegetable terrine from me and I reached out to you and said it's in Minneapolis by mistake, it really is. I'm not trying to delay things. It really is in Minneapolis and I don't. 
I swear I don't drink. I don't, I wasn't even drinking before I shipped it and I still somehow, and the worst part, the worst part, you guys, wasn't calling him a criminal. No, none of that stuff. That wasn't even the worst part. The worst part is when I finished packaging the shipments, Etsy kept showing the Massachusetts order as open. And I'm going, why, why is it not applying the tracking number? Like it automatically goes from pirate ship to Etsy. Why is it not closing this order? And I kept like trying to reload it and reload it. And it's like, it's not closing it. It's like, you didn't ship it. I'm not closing it. You know, and I'm going, oh. so I manually typed in the wrong dumb tracking address and closed the order. I'm like, Didn't even take a hot second to go, wait, something's clearly wrong because this is this process has never failed me before. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't take even a, a moment of hesitation to think that maybe something went wrong. May, on my end. <laughs> Just assume the system was wrong and I need to close that bloody order because I shipped it. So yeah, things have been picking up for me in the online space. I clearly need to double, triple check all my packages. This has been an ongoing concern for me. Actually, my biggest concern was putting the wrong thank you card in the wrong box. I kept thinking I'm going to put like the wrong person's thank you card because I sit down, I write all the thank you cards and then I put them in the boxes and Now I just have to be concerned that the wrong label is going on the wrong item and I have things that I, I this poor man, he earned a free chalice. He earned the free chalice. He deserves it. I should hand carry it down there wrapped in gold. I mean, I'm calling him a criminal. I'm reporting him to eBay. I'm like, yeah, criminal. Oh no, dummy. <laughs> This is still here too, by the way. So if I don't have enough things irritating me. We'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. That's everything that sold in January. If you're here till the end, you're one of the best. All right. Love you guys. Happy checking. Bye. <laughs> Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.